Hello everyone and welcome to a new lecture in Microsoft Word 2013. Uh, today we will continue what we started. We will cover the remaining of the insert tab. We already finished the file tab, backstage view, we finished the home tab and then today we will uh, take a look at the insert tab. We already finished the first half, we will continue uh, talking about the second half of the insert tab. I think at this point of time uh, we are ready to uh, get faster and uh, uh, finish more materials as we uh, lecture, right? So are you ready to get started and cover more materials? Are you? Okay, good. So let's go ahead and uh, start opening Microsoft Word 2013. So I will go ahead and open uh, the application. And once I open Microsoft Word 2013, I will create a blank document. And once I click on blank documents I need to click on the insert tab we already covered all the way until links so now looking at uh, the links group so we are in the home in the insert tab links group so let's say I would like to uh, visit Google website so I will click on hyperlink and I need to insert uh, the link for Google website inside my documents so I will click here, take us to display, visit Google web uh, site, right? And then I will go down here and uh, type the link for Google website, www. Oh, look at that, google.com. And then I will click on OK. Now I have a link, right? I have a link inside my document, it's called hyperlink. Uh, so how a user can visit Google if you press control and then click on the link it will open the browser and it will take you to Google website isn't it nice it is very nice okay now you can do something else let's say you have some text our uh, magic formula for text and I would like to double click on video and then insert a hyperlink to the word video you can double click on it and then it choose hyperlink right that's one way of doing it and now the text will be video by default and then you put the site in here or you can right click look at the text the selected text do you see the pop-up that appears this is the translator we will cover that in the future it, to turn it off you go to review and then translate and then uh, stop the mini translator now it's not active anymore if I right click on the selected item video I can choose hyperlink same exact thing so now www.youtube.com and then click OK now you have a hyperlink here does anyone remember how do you remove the hyperlink right click on it and then it choose remove hyperlink now I removed uh, the hyperlink from the uh, page so going back to the insert tab I have links so we know what is a hyperlink okay now let's say I have uh, let's do something magic uh, R A N D and then open close parentheses and then I need 10 paragraphs and I need 20 lines per paragraph right and then I will press enter look at that look how many pages do I have is it that isn't that nice it is very nice. So having this uh, th this number of pages, uh, bookmark. Let's say I have a proof, for example, here. I can double click in it, on it and then it choose bookmark. And here it is asking me where would you like to uh, add the bookmark. I will add it to proof. And what would you like to name it? I will call it here uh, first. Uh, book mark and then I will click on add alright so I will go back all the way on the top and then I will uh, create a new line press enter at the beginning of the line I will go to the beginning of the line press, press enter that will give me a new line ok now I will uh, click here or I will type go below or uh, oh, that's alright go below and then I will insert a hyperlink 
I need to visit a place in the documents. What is the place? It is a bookmark. What is the name of the bookmark? First bookmark. Click OK. Now when I press Control and then click on this link, it takes me to prove. If you did not get it, rewind, watch it again, you will get it. Believe me. Okay, now, cross-reference. If I click on cross-reference, all right, you can uh, reference heading, you can reference bookmark, you can reference footnote, but I will not be able to explain that until I f cover something about... Uh, references and inserting caption inside your document and adding cross reference so uh, under references we have the same thing that is why uh, in the insert here I will just skip the cross reference for now and we will cover it in the future okay do we are we all good on this one yes okay we are good okay now let's say I would like to uh, uh, let's say you are a teacher and uh, your student gave me gave you a document that has a solution and they would like to uh, send a feedback to your student or maybe you are working on a research paper and you would like to add comment to your uh, professor provides and you would like to explain something about provides you can click on comment and then explain you put any text in here all right that you would like to let your uh, professor know in a very nice format as you see here so uh, this is something if you hover on it it will display it all right you can insert a new one okay if you click away from it it will uh, disappear so this is something that you need to keep in mind again under uh, review under review you see here comment so we will touch base that again but for now let's keep in mind that commenting you use it to uh, display some comment inside your page all right so uh, i will undo that because it's just uh, making my page too wide now uh, header and footer and page number what is header and footer do you see this uh, this blank section here on the top of the document if I double click on it it opens what it opens the header if I click on uh, double click inside the document it closes it double click on the header it opens it double click inside the document it closes it if I go to the footer double click on the footer it opens the footer usually once you open the footer the headers gets open uh, as well and uh, the vice versa so if I uh, go here and then go to insert and then click on header right I can insert a specific header style as you can see in here so let's say you would like to add this kind of header look or you can come to the header itself and let's say uh, put the title for example of your uh, research paper double click inside the document or click on close that will close it all right now let's say i'll go to insert and then uh, i will click on a footer i can insert a footer here and it will it, it is giving me a place to type some items all right i can undo that and then go to insert again I can insert page number uh, bottom of page and I can choose any style from this uh, section here let's say I would like to display page uh, number in a nice format like maybe page uh, one of like this one here look at that page one of five this is something that you can insert and that's called page number so insert you can insert header footer page number and you know how to access each one of them if you uh, scroll please make sure everyone that you go over it and look at each item all right so now let's go look at text box uh, text box is something neat that you really like to use uh, if I let's say I would like to add text in a place that you usually uh, uh, don't have the ability to have text in it for example if I click on text box here look 
I can move this text box anywhere inside my document. Look, look what I can do. So this is a text box. I will undo and then insert again. You can please make sure everyone that you click on text box and try to practice using all different types or you can draw a text box so if I draw text box I can create let's say I would like to add a text box here and put text look I can move this text anywhere inside my document sometimes you will need to use that but you have it and you can apply all the format that we covered before you can change the shape style as you see here look at that and once you start typing look what is happening this is a test and uh, what you can do you can select the text and then apply word art style to the text all right you can even apply shadow we already covered that before color and then you can apply uh, fill you can uh, change text uh, direction look at that look at that is isn't it cool so someone might ask me what can i do with that look what you can do you can put that in here and they have a nice title and they have a text going that direction so again this is very nice text direction and you can change the text direction to any direction of your choice right you can even flip it like that you can move it if you uh, if you need to move it make sure that you have the four headed arrow and again you can uh, fix it you can take it somewhere you can make it bigger if you want you need to change the size you click on these small uh, squares All right you can take it from here put it here for example and then flip it more you can do anything you would like to with the text box very nice feature all right now uh, i will uh, select the first uh, paragraph here i will click on drop cap look at that look at that and look at that you can uh, choose options and you can uh, change the drop cap to any uh, size or uh, change the font uh, change the actual uh, distance from the text and so on so that's the drop cap you have seen it you always you usually see you see that in magazines or newspaper so now you can do it yourself all right so now let's click on word art and choose any style from here it will give you text you can take this text anywhere and then highlight the text and put here for example let's say VCCS now you have a nice word art format you can move it anywhere you can change the wrap effect you can put it between the text look at that I think that is wonderful do you like that look at that so now let's look at something else uh, going back to insert we already covered uh, hyperlink bookmark uh, we will cover cross-reference in the future uh, header footer page number text box uh, drop caption word art quick parts so to cover quick parts I really need to uh, go to file and then click on new and then let's say I need to look for a resume for example and once I click on resume, I need to choose the original, original re resume. Uh, where is it? It is here. Uh, original, original theme, and then click on create. Once I click on create, it will open a template for the resume. Here, I should get it in a minute. it is just taking time to load the actual uh, content of the resume alright it is loading anyway uh, until it loads let's go back to quick parts actually I, I think I need to wait so let's say you are in a situation like that and uh, you really need to uh, fix fix what you have 
if you try to close it okay now cancel I think it is responding with me so now let's close these documents I will not save it don't save okay now I will close this one too and then don't save so close the application and then open it again Microsoft Word 2013 now instead of having a blank documents I will choose the resume right so I will go to uh, resume here original theme and then I will click on create now it's working see so if you are having problems you know how to fix them uh, to explain quick parts let's say you have sections here you have skills you have education objectives and they would like to add another section look when I press enter and then go to insert and then click on quick parts look what you can do you can insert more sections resume sections so these are items that are used frequently in this kind of documents and you can create quick parts to save you time in the future so instead of creating a reference section you can uh, design a quick part uh, it's like a template that you can use in the future inside one of your uh, documents if you click on quick parts and then go to auto text or maybe a document property let's say you would like to add a company name you can add the company name here VCCS for example and then select that text and then go to quick parts and then go to auto text and then save the selected text gallery as VCCS and then click OK now let's go ahead and uh, uh, close these documents don't save anything and then I will open Microsoft Word and then I will open a blank document, I will go to uh, insert and then I will go to quick parts and then I will go to auto text, see, VCCS now you know why quick parts are important please go ahead and practice uh, going through that after you finish save it you can save it as auto text or you can uh, go to the build blocks organizer let's say you would like to delete VCCS that I just created click on it and then choose click on delete and that will delete it uh, bibliography you can even edit the properties and you can change some of the options that you see in here so these are uh, elements that you have in your documents for ease of access and these are called quick parts that's why they are called quick parts so you don't have to spend the time all over and all over again to create them because you already spend the time and you saved it inside your document okay signature line if I click on signature line you can add the email of your choice the title and the name and then once you click OK look what you get a place in your document for people to sign so this is nice uh, date and time if you click on date and time you can choose the date format uh, if you choose auto update every time you open the document it will display today's date once I click OK look auto update please make sure whenever you insert date that you pay attention that you have different formats you have different calendar type right you have different languages once you choose update automatically this will give you the date that updates automatically when you can go to object here you can insert objects like excel chart for example or you can get text from file uh, one thing here equation so if I select everything, delete, I will click on the down arrow beside equation. You can choose any equation style from here or you can click on insert new equation. Once you click on the insert new equation, look what you get. You get matrices, operators. Now if you are taking uh, statistics or math uh, course, you know in Microsoft Word that you can have access to all of these equations even the symbols you can have access look basic mass Greek letters uh, symbols uh, operators look at that uh, this is wonderful so all of that inside Microsoft Word and you don't even know it please everyone make sure that you uh, look at all of these options as you see in here 
if you click on the equation you can even insert a big equation like that you can even uh, modify this equation based on the structures that you have the symbols uh, you can click on uh, professional you can click on uh, linear APC from text and uh, change the actual uh, formula as you can see here so if you are taking a math uh, course please keep in mind that you have this nice feature in Microsoft Word you can uh, change the actual design of your uh, equation as you can see here let's say for example I need to change A uh, delete it and put a, a superscript for example or something different like that you know how to do that right again this is wonderful if you are taking a math class or uh, some of the statistics uh, course you can use these uh, equations as you need any questions so I will delete that once you delete it and then get out of here you lose the equation uh, option tool and then symbols if you click on symbols you can choose any of these symbols here or click on more symbols uh, something here nice if you change the font you will get different symbols based on the font that you select you can spend an entire day looking look at this nice here very nice uh, letters that you can uh, have hard time finding if you don't know if you don't know how to use the symbol any questions about symbol are we good with uh, insert yes we are good so let's uh, close this one don't save and then open Microsoft Word uh, 2013 one more time I need to uh, uh, insert a page from template let's say I will choose this one here and then I will click OK uh, design look when I go to design there are some design themes that Microsoft created that you can use automatically without having to spend time formatting look look when I uh, change the theme it changes the color the font the style the size based on the theme or you can reset the theme all right or I can go here document formatting and choose one of the pre-built themes as I wish if I hover for a minute it will tell me the name of the theme so that is under design I can even only change the color so if I don't like the color of a template that I used I can quickly change the color I can even change only the fonts change the paragraph spacing uh, add some more effects but the effects usually if you have smart art we already covered smart art before okay uh, watermark this is a nice thing let's say I choose this one do you see what happened look try to pay attention to the background confidential you can click on watermark again it choose different watermark do not copy look do not copy so this is a bag uh, something that is not really visible uh, and you can type on top of it you can click on uh, more watermarks from office or you can uh, choose custom watermark and then let's say you can put the uh, uh, like let's say a text watermark and I will uh, choose dr uh, draft for example and then click OK look at the text that appears draft I can click on watermark again or water uh, yes and then I can click on remove watermark I can even insert a custom watermark and then insert a, a picture watermark select a picture and I can go to the Microsoft Office website clip art where I can have images and then uh, I search for flowers for example and let's say I would like to add a flower as a watermark in my documents let's choose this one here 
double click it will download it click ok look at what I have you see it it is if you don't really see it you can click on watermark again and then click on custom watermark and what you can do you can remove the wash out and then click ok look look at that so if you are writing a letter and you'd like to have a nice watermark like this one you can okay page color if you'd like to change the page color you can change the page color instead of go buying a very expensive uh, paper that has the same exact shape you can create a postcard yourself using Microsoft Word page border you can even apply a page border box you can add some art if you scroll down here you can apply very nice let's say you are trying to print a certificate for example you can have something like that click OK and now you have this nice maybe in a Mother's Day uh, holiday you can create a very nice letter like this one and send it to uh, mother or you can send it to your loved, uh, loved one right so are we good on the design so we finish this step very quickly let's go look at the page layout we cover the most of the items in the page layout do you remember the paragraph indentation spacing so we already did that and we will look at the break so before we do that let's undo the watermark and delete the entire text in here control a and then delete okay now equals r a n d open close parentheses now i have some text okay and this text here i will click on please pay attention everyone right i will click first on margin i can change the margin look now i change the margin i can uh, choose a different normal margin okay if you click here you can even choose a custom margin and specify the actual top left that's the margin that appears you can specify the uh, por orientation portrait or landscape also you can uh, look for multiple pages here and uh, choose here two pages per sheet someone will ask me why do I need that to do that uh, if you are look at that book if you are typing a book you can uh, change the settings as uh, as you see right so that is under margin here orientation portrait or landscape look at the difference all right size you can change a4 let's say you have a different uh, size envelope for example you can choose the envelope envelope or you can choose more size and specify the size uh, of your uh, choice and it gives you a preview so this is something that i need you to uh, practice please everyone and uh, layouts i would like to cover something about layout so let's say i have here uh, first name and then i have here uh, last name and then a topic and then uh, let's say date and I'd like to center that in exactly in the dead center of the screen okay do you know what I still have a watermark can anyone tell me how do I remove the watermark design watermark remove the watermark now it's gone so now going back to the page layout I need to center that dead center in the middle of the page how do I do that go to where look I have page set up if I click on this launch box I can click on layout and then apply that to P center and that is only for the selected text if I click OK it centers it in the middle of the page if I go to the home tab and then center that look at what I get the text is centered ex exactly in the middle of the uh, page so please keep that in mind if I ask you to center something exactly in the middle of the page again page layout 
you go to the page setup go to the layout tab make sure that you apply that to be centered and apply it to the selected text and then click OK so now let's go back and then now I need the my text one more time so equals R A N D uh, open close parentheses enter now I have text let's say you are creating a flyer for a restaurant for example if I click on columns and then look what I can do now let's go to column again and then choose more column look when you choose more column you can uh, change the column design to any design of your choice you can even uh, make it make more create more columns right you can add line between columns change the spacing to be less look at that so let's say you would like to uh, shift this section to the column next to it so you click at the beginning and then click on break and then you choose column break did you see what happened go back here click at, th at this location and then I choose column and then uh, sorry break and then column break so go back here and now I need a page break so breaks page break so that takes me to a new page now I have a paragraph for each uh, column All right so line numbers continuous so that adds line numbers I can go to line numbers again and choose none All right so that is totally up to you if you need line numbers in your page you know how to get them all right so uh, I think uh, we have what we need from this section you can uh, look at other options that you see in here under break under columns but you have the basics that we need for this section so again we covered how many file home insert design page layout uh, I would like to leave the reference tab to a, a lecture by itself also the mailings and uh, the review and view we will cover them also in a lecture by itself so I think we are halfway in the uh, section that we are talking or we are covering which is Microsoft Word 2013 we have done a lot today we finished uh, the remaining of the insert we finished design we finished page layout so uh, next time we will cover uh, uh, new topics and I hope you enjoyed uh, the lecture for today and I will see you in the future. Uh, bye bye everyone.